An example of the liquidity ratio is the net working capital to total assets ratio. The net working capital to total assets formula is net working capital divided by total assets. We know that the net working capital is calculated as current assets minus current liabilities. So we can rewrite the net working capital to total assets formula as current assets minus current liabilities divided by total assets. We get the current assets, current liabilities, and total assets from the balance sheet. So uh, let's calculate the net working capital to total assets ratio for the year 2018. Current assets is equal to $40 million minus current liabilities of $15 million, all divided by total assets of $100 million, which is equal to 25%. The unit of the net working capital to total assets ratio is a percentage. This means that the percentage of remaining liquid assets after paying the current liabilities compared to total assets is 25%. It refers to the amount of assets required to run the day-to-day -day operations of a company. A positive liquidity ratio indicates that the company can meet its short-term obligations. The ratio should not be too high, however, as it is better to invest in assets that generate a higher return, such as long-term assets, while short-term assets generate a lower return.